The insurance industry has come under a lot of criticism in terms of how they reacted to past flooding. Uh, there have been uh, reports that that has greatly improved, so they get lots of justice in very quickly after an event and try to give advice to people um, how to clear their houses and what to throw and not to throw before they've actually seen it. But um, obviously, in terms of insurance itself, it puts a lot of pressure on the insurance industry to provide premiums for people who are frequently flooded. Uh, there is a new uh, approach called Flood RE, R -E um, coming in uh, that will try to provide a reinsurance uh, pot for insurance companies to enable them to insure the most frequently flooded properties. The Environment Agency uh, takes the stance that uh, these events will become more regular, so more extreme events, as we call them, will become more regular. Um, how regular they become that they don't be called uh, extreme events, that's another question. Uh, in terms of actually managing these events, it is very difficult, it's a very big question and it takes into consideration lots of different parts of flood risk management. Uh, parts such as uh, the, the development planning regulations, whether or not certain properties should be built in certain areas. It takes into account uh, the actual flood defences and whether they're built to a higher standard and whether the country can afford to do that. It takes into account a changing climate and the hydrology that informs those decisions, should we be revisiting that hydrology now with a change in climatic conditions. If you looked at flooding as a company or as a corporate organisation, then you might say, well, the Environment Agency and the local authorities are the main uh, components. They're the ones who have people within them whose job is to look at the risk and understand that risk and look at what can be do, done to mitigate those risks. However, I would argue that it is the people that live in the communities, their risk managers in themselves, individually or as a community, and how we can help them to make better decisions and how we can give them certain abilities or certain um, uh, things to actually enable them to react to the flooding and prepare for it.